Navi playing as they have been, not necessarily how they did at ESL offline. Let's say they don't make it, so I would say we're likely going to see TSM, Nip, Envious, Fnatic, which would be five out of the, or four out of the top five teams in the world right now. So that that would leave VP the only one out of that. It's uh, almost a flawless knife. <laughs> So, it seems like the server does require a knife round to be done before we can uh, officially start the game, which is now. So when both the teams are ready, we can get this party started. Reminder that all the games are best of threes. We don't have our cram schedule this week, so it's uh, three full days, two best of threes each of these days, as we do uh, both our semi-finals today, our lower bracket final, as well as the winner's bracket final tomorrow, and then the last day will end with uh, both the consolation final as well as the grand final, and that is on Wednesday when we'll find out who will be the second team joining Envious as the LAN of finalist teams. As we said before, though, with the last chance qualify, there is still a second hope, but only for two teams. Only for two teams. Yeah, that's so right. Four and teams in total. Well, there'll be yeah, exactly, and there'll be six teams in that offline or that pardon me, the online last chance qualifier. Mm -hmm. So getting things underway. Already, they've gotten down mid and passed around that corner where Cajun B was scouting, and they're going to get the banana where both oh, Zipnix and Kerrigan have played rather passive over on the B site. So right now, Navi's got the choice, but look at Dupree all the way down apartments. He's going to get completely behind them in middle. And this is going to it's going to give so much information to Team Solo mid as well. And look at the look at the complete discipline right there. Spotted one going boiler. He's made that call. Now Zipnix is starting to lean out of B and get back over to help out at A. As Dupree's going to walk directly the behind them. Like when does he shoot? Okay, now there's one looking they for the no second. Idea. He takes the second. He does manage to tag up a third, which is flamey. But yeah, Navi had no clue that he was able to run down that second mid and come in behind them. And now they were initially committing so many players to rush up the banana. They want to get up on the top. They did start the rotation from Cajun B. But uh, he did, he came back. He felt it was, go it was going the wrong way. Now Navi commit themselves up. They do bring down Cajun. So they hold the archer's side. There's still one player left alive. Device, the only man left on A. Kerrigan as well as King are now going to make their rotation over to defend the site as Device, while well, he gets Edward over at the graveyard, put him exactly into that grave, takes a second one as well, C's gonna drop, Flamey's to finish the job, 63 HP, it's gonna be enough to help him get one, but can he finish up the rest? The answer is no. Team Solo mid will retake the site and get the defuse. Now, they at least get the plant money for it, but that's the only major advantage. Hey, yeah, and that's the thing I was going to say. This will allow them to full save this round and get into it. But again, Dupree just so sneaky all the way down the apartments. Never came under any sort of adversity. Just completely took the map control. Once he's behind them, we saw how disciplined he was. Called one was Boiler. Let his teammates not panic. Got that first kill now. The unfortunate part was after he got those two kills when he was on the stairwell, the death cam didn't reveal anything because they still split up. So they couldn't quite match up to each bomb site or predict where it was going, but they still had a great play and got that retake. So Flamey's actually, based on how many kills he got, getting very aggressive and trying to catch them off with this Galil. Uh, Device was being ag as aggressive. He was moving himself all the way up to the top of mid, trying to have a look down the mid. But unable to, unable to find anyone. Kerrigan's getting as much information as possible. He's going to just tag up Guardian a little bit and then back up. Realizing there is a Deagle purchase. Well, not only that Deagle again, though, that Galil as well. And Flamey's playing passively with it. He's looking for his teammates to open up an opportunity. Again, though, I'm interested in how passive that TSM is playing on the B site. They're not even contesting, although it's early in the match. We've only seen two rounds. This time they've got guns, and they're still not contesting at the corner. They're sitting all the way back. They might just rely on their rotation, retake ability. There's a lot of flashes coming in. But we're ready the to push. Yeah, Carrigan's the last man left alive at the back in emo corner. Takes out one. He's still got the machine gun advantage. Takes out two. Can't get the third down. And Team Solo mid, they're coming back. One up banana, one in through construction, the other one coming straight from the from the CT spawn. And the problem where I was going with that is once one goes down, specifically playing that passive, you've got no one on the retake, and now it's actually going to be Guardian into Cajun B. So it's all on Dupree. He does have full health, and he's up against 35 and 3 respectively, and now it's only just the last man, Guardian, left. He'll get him as well, 2 nothing. But that was a lot closer than it had to be. That was a lot closer than it should have been. All they had to do was contest a little bit further out in Banana. Even if they drop earlier against those pistols, you know they're going to flood in as a team at that point. You can have a rotation a lot closer just based on where the fight is fought. And, I mean, that. I'm surprised the bomb didn't go down there. That should have been an easy plant for Na'Vi. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so Navi, try again. Sepnix again going to be very, uh, a little bit more aggressive on top of Banana, getting as much information without having to peek from the car side. Holding on as we do have a, uh, a small pistol buy from Navi, not much. But Edward as well as Flamey, they managed to actually get themselves into apartments, but getting out of there is going to be a little bit more trouble. Cajun B plus Dupree and Device, they've got a really nice little cover over on A. And Navi know this, they're bringing the bomb in fact back over towards towards the B site. Zeus missing on any kind of like chance for a kill on Sipnix. They have got everyone here, so they're going to commit to B. And again, it's passive. There's one smoke out. If they go in and they lose one player on the defense on this entry from Navi, device is still all the way over top mid. You're late on that rotation. You're putting yeah, a lot come. of pressure on one player. Oh, Zipnix is on 21. He's already low. That's a good flash. Navi don't know where anyone is. However, Zipnix, he takes out one. Doesn't realize the second one coming in through construction, however. So he will be brought down. It's up to Carrigan to defend for the back boxes. He takes one, looking for the second, but Edward's going to shut him down. But there's a three-on-one situation. There's not much more the Guardian can do apart from getting a couple of, re like, revenge frags. Taking this side on 26 HP is almost impossible. In fact, it is impossible. Device will finish the job. And that gives Team Solomon a 3-0, but we finally get a proper buy around from Navi. And now I'm really going to be interested because, if they, in my opinion, if they keep playing Banana this passively... At B, Navi's going to take full control and full advantage of it because, as I mentioned, one goes down on that entry. You have one player in the site for something like 10, 10 to 12 seconds based on that arch side rotation where Device is playing. So they either have to lead it off. They actually are going to go 3B out of spawn. So this will cancel out everything I said. And this means Zipnix is going to go for the peak. Oh, oh, wow. Not just the peak. The push all the way down. I don't know if you realize there's another one over on the palm. He will now because Zeus fired. So he just shoots into the smoke. Taking out a second one, trying to spray through the smoke. Edward will come out on top of that fight. But the damage has already been done. Navi down two players. Their push up banana is also completely lost. Their only choice is to. Well, okay, now their choices open up. The fact that Kerrigan threw away his life on banana means the B is very much open. And because of that, they had to rotate players over. Dupree sitting back on the B side. Cajun B, the only one left alive. And he's going to go down inside the graveyard once again. This will be a round to Navi. There's very little to nothing that Dupree can do. One Famous versus the two AKs. Yes, he's got a Diffuse Kit, but unless he gets that early frag, he's not going to get enough of an advantage to breach back into the site. And he's not going to push that smoke. That flash will come out. That'll delay him even more. In fact, yeah, he's going to run away and save this gun. There's yeah. no way he can push that smoke on that angle, knowing there's still two in a crossfire waiting on the immediate opposing side of it. Yeah. His only option would have been to go to the, mid, the upper mid side, come around from truck, and again, it's still not likely. He was still five seconds, six seconds away from even getting set up for there. It's too late in a one-on-two, especially with the FAMAS, like you said. So mm -hmm. he'll go back, grab that M4 that was... Dispersed over at the B site, and he'll get out with that. But there you go, Navi's already got one. That's your first gun. I like the way they played B, but they didn't, again, rotate back quick enough. Once Zipnix got those first two kills, they actually could have faded that third player back yeah. to A immediately. Yeah, and because of it, like their, their defense was just so thin. The Navi was easily able to just punch a hole in it. But that's what happens when you get a little over-aggressive. There is a little bit of a buy. Only one of the Famuses coming up there for Zipnix as he uh, threw the M4 over to Dupree. So Dupree's going to watch from uh, from top mid. He needs to get a good couple of frags here. The flash to start with, the smoke as well. They can't allow Na'Vi to just take over the A site. So Cajun B moves aggressively up into bedroom. Oh, Zipnix ate that nade. He's still got enough life to, to move back. And with the two of them on B, they are going to be fine. The A is where the action is going to be. Na'Vi want to breach through as early as they possibly can. And there's the smoke, so Dupree can't see anything, which is a bad thing considering he's the only man with that big rifle. And Navi are coming up. So they're up, spam oh, goes through. Oh, himself away, I don't even mm. know why he bothered that quickly. He was hoping for blind luck. Guardian's moving now up and uh, he spams into the bedroom. And seized. He's just the floater at the back here. But the A-Site basically belongs, especially now that you, that you lose Cajun. That A site belongs to Navi. So Team Solomy can save the Famous, which is over on uh, Carrigan. And he'll join Sipnix back over on the B site. As defensive as they can. And Navi, flawless round. 
That M4 save didn't really help him out. No, and I, I'm still... I understand that the angle makes sense to try and spam through it. You don't have bullet tracers on the silencer, whatever, whatever. Mm. You're playing with one of the only two rifles your team has, and you give yourself up that quickly. It, I think it would have been far more beneficial to be a little more passive and try and let Na'Vi walk themselves into a more confined space and have a better angle to fight from. Instead, he immediately got taken down. There was two players spamming back at him. His luck was never going to hold. Yeah. That's actually the, what was now, the second or third time the Guardian has managed to kill one of the Team Solar mid players through the smoke. He's also doing really well on this on the uh, kill count. I want to say, their newest player, he's the man topping the board right now. A 6-0-3 coming up for Flamey. So, welcome to Na'Vi, Flamey. And like I said, this could be. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see this because this could be sort of a revitalization for Navi. They've been slipping a little bit as of late. Been playing great on cash. It's one of the only maps that's been consistent for them, but I'm not going to see that tonight. I right, got banned out. So no joy on that front. So Team Solar mid again. We're on a on a well. Not, it's, it's not even really a buy at all because they held the Famous from before. So just a couple of pistols. As Navi hoping for the first pick. Again with that spray. Device has to fall back all the way back to library. But Team Solo mid, they do have a nice stack. Dupree on the site, Carrigan as well as Cage and B sitting around the pit area. So if Navi do come in, there will be a half decent crossfire for Team Solo mid, even if it's not a powerful one. It will still be there. And they're coming up the arch side again, Navi. Flamey leading the charge in, looking for more of these frags. He gets one with the help of a Guardian. Will still lose his life. Good kill by Zipnix. That should become a little bit more of a costly round. Just considering uh, Kerrigan's the last man left alive, grabbing two. Navi, they take the round, but Zeus is the only sole, sole survivor for Navi. They got a lot of money behind them. Just three straight gun rounds. I thought that one was actually going to go a little bit better. We're just going to take a look at this replay. Kerrigan inside the site did as much as he could, but sadly had no one else join him. It was a better rotation that time from TSM. Had a lot more players back out of that B site. Both Zipnix and Kerrigan joined over as we saw. Actually, Kerrigan's going over. Dupree was there, but one of them died. I think it was Dupree immediately as they came through Arch. Zipnix, Zipnix got the counter kill, Zipnix. but it wasn't enough. This so time, quick, no, oh, Zipnix! Nice made. Oh, man. Oh, that was... The Kerrigan helped him out. The Zipnix shuts down that Navi aggression coming up. Banana. Ed was trying to turn the tides of the war. By coming up through mid, but Dupree is waiting for him to poke. As Cajun B now leaves, Edward as the sole survivor, and he gets caught in the crossfire. Team Solo mid, only losing to Vice. But it was that aggressive push coming down Banana. This is that moment from Zipnix. Just spamming, 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 and the nade over the top from Carrigan helped do all the rest of the work. And it's good that it paid off this time. We saw him do that uh, in round four. Got two kills, and then... Overstayed is welcome. They didn't rotate out. They got beat at A as a result of that 3B three three, uh, stack. They're going to go for it again, actually. Kerrigan's joining in, but he's being mm. a bit more passive. I think, actually, he's just waiting for a call. Uh, we've got Device with the orb. It might have been in case he went down. So here's that uh, nade going to come in from uh, from Sipnix. Half decent position. Seize is already down to 45 HP. And this push just gets slowed down, knowing that orb is watching up, up Banana. Zeus going for any kind of peek, could just find himself getting snapped back. And Flamey and Edward are trying to get positioning inside Boiler and Apartments right now. Flamey's up the stairs. Edward's already checked out the bedroom, so Cajun B is going to be the man that has to be strong. Well, it's going to be easier for him when they're going to split up like this. There goes Zeus, so there goes your flanker, or your floater, I should say. And the flashes, the smoke's quite heavily coming up. Cajun B still sitting at the back. Carrigan knows that every time Navi is pushed up, they've always favored that arch side. Unless something's gone wrong, at which point they just try and slip through the right flank instead. And we're making a little bit of sound. He's got seized over here. Navi made They're the call to, to go back to B. Yeah, they made it immediately because we saw Edward come out of Boiler and despite Carrigan's that he'd already, already flashed out, yeah, he already went right back to join over with C. So they made this decision about 10 seconds ago based on the fact they thought oh. that Carrigan was out there already. He's up so close. They're going to check the corner. The flash comes, but Carrigan, he's going to line up two of them at the moment. Needs a little bit more help. He does have it from inside the site. That's Sipnix, but he's backed into a corner just to the left of the cubby. And Flamey's able to mop him up. So uh, two on three situation. You do have that ult from Device, which is going to look straight down from CT. Looking for these aggressive Ts. 
Looks like Dupree's the first one to open up the account, and Cajun B comes in for the flank season. and Flamey will drop, and Team Solar Mid, again, a successful retake. Never want to call out a player who gets a double kill, but Kerrigan had a better opportunity than what he got there. He whiffed on a few shots on the first player. Might have been a little bit more efficiently done had he hit them, but good read on the fact that they went back to B. Kerrigan was rotated out of A, actually, pardon me, out of B, over to A, and then all the way back just in time to get there and get pushed up, so... The read was strong, a little bit better aim, and he might have had a bit more efficiency, and they might have been able to build a bit more economy because that's going to be important for them. They still don't have a lot in their bank, even after winning that round. They have gone for the opto device. He's going to pick it up this time. And he's over to B with it. Uh, again, they try and push down aggressively through Banana. Team no solo mid. Either. Uh, no cover. They just this, want, they want a clear line of sight. This could be really good, though, because Kerrigan's pushed down by Tree with nothing to indicate he's there. There was no smoke dropped out low to indicate that they might have pushed up. Mm. And we has got cover from uh, from Zipnix. <laughs> Molotov slowing them. There's a little bit of spam. They're not going to look to their left as they move up. Kerrigan's just got to be patient. He's got to be so come. patient. Here they come. He takes one. Guess the second as well. Can't take out the third. Ever with the Tech 9. He's able to get in, but the damage has been done again. Seize as well as Edward licking their wounds. Guardian's the only one at full life. And they're playing this brilliantly. They put Dupree directly into Boiler to watch that cross at top middle. Now they know it before they even get to A, if they've come back. That'll cause Device to rotate quickly. If they don't show up soon, Cajun B's going to head out. And ah. there he goes. He's heading toward B right now. There's your smokes. And Edward and Guardian both blinded once again. They literally cannot see anything, and Sipnik, he's got a perfect hole, takes three out! It was all started up with that small crevice between the smoke lines. And then the rest of them just walked into the bullets. A fantastic start by both Kerrigan and Zipnik, both of them over at the B side. 12 and 10 kills respectively. And it hasn't even been all B takes, it's just been their aggression that's getting them those kills. Mm. I'm loving it. How, how is the way to deal with Banana? I know when we first started CCS, uh, most of Banana was just coated in Molotovs after Molotovs with flashbangs and nades. Now Navi trying to push up a device, opens up the account with the ore pit. And Navi again, they had to push up through fire as well as nades. And everything is stopped. They have to fall back practically. Guardian is sitting pretty, up, uh, pretty high up on mid. With Carrigan locking down the top of Banana. Like, where are the openings left? There's not many of them. There's only two players now up, and Zeus doesn't even hold the bomb. It's sitting inside the archers. Guardian and Zeus are coming in here, and Device is already, already re rotating over to A. I don't know if they want to send a flanker here, because currently it's just Carrigan as well as Sipnix battling from, uh, from the top of Banana. Now, they're waiting for Navi to come to them. Take no risks, hold every single weapon. They kind of already got the like the win on the money. Yeah, they're starting to build an economy now based on that last round and this one. They haven't lost a player yet. And yep. It looks like they're going to get this complete team wipe. Zeus there it wants is. to think better of it. Not going to happen. So now they're really starting to roll. 7-3. to three. We're into the 11th round and look at the money. They're all up around 7k. It's getting uh, better and better. For Navi, five rounds would be... I'll say workable. Six would be what I would expect them to need going over to CT. I think it's actually been five rounds since Flamey got a kill. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Carrigan has just gone absolutely huge. He's up to 15-2-6 now on the, on, the, uh, on the KDA. So Team Solo mid looking solid and Navi. Okay, well, this could be a new strat. Uh, they're sitting back and just thinking about what's going to happen in the next round. Seeds has moved up. Uh, looking at second mid, but the rest of Na'Vi are still sitting back in their spawn. They do not want to walk out of here. They've literally put themselves in the doghouse. I don't know if they want to wait until Team Solar mid try and come and check the spawn, because I doubt they're going to do that. Yeah, this is a weird one. I'm not even sure what they're trying to do. I, C is just, I, just I scouting. I think they need time to talk. But you can also just call for a timeout if you want that. Well, yes and no. Sort of. You do have timeout allocations, but typically speaking, tactical timeouts. Are they frowned upon? They're not necessarily frowned upon. They're kind of expected, but you don't really want to use it if you can avoid it. It's usually they're done for uh, disruptions in the gameplay, but things are already starting off, and Device is going to disrupt Guardi, and he's also going to disrupt Edward. That's two, and they're going to continue to push him, <laughs> making a third at the arch side. He's on fire right now, but Seized finally Guess takes that gun away from him with the Deagle. 
We have to do some heavy lifting with this orb. Zeus is the only man there to support him. And he needs to find these pickoffs into pit. The call would have already come. The fact that he has that orb gets the tag on the Cajun B. Gets the kill as well with the pistol. That's Zeus. They're literally running tag team, except no fair. They're playing both at the same time. Uh, Dupree, well, he plays fair. Comes in, takes him out, runs for the orb, is able to save it. And team solo mid. For the eco of Navi, uh, did lose a couple, but they hold on to their primary weapons. Oh, great hold by Device. He's now catching up to Zipnix in the kills at 11. Cajun. B. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was, I'm sorry. I tried to I, make it. I was like, he was just like in the middle of nowhere. What? what I was actually going to say he's only got three, so he hasn't been <laughs> in on a lot of the action, but he's playing over at eight where they haven't been coming to him very often. Yeah. He's a sacrificial boy. In a lot of other ma uh, a lot of other rounds, other games, then, yeah, he'll probably be getting a hell of a lot more of a workout. But Navi is just continuously favored that banana push with maybe a delayed move into A. That's kind of been the run of their strats at the moment. Maybe one slow push into apartments, and that's all. Well, they're currently one player down, so Flamey on the sides. Zeus turns his back and comes up. They manage to take out Dupree, which means there is an opening. But the rotation's already coming back. Kerrigan's on his way, coming down through archers. If Navi are going to favor this side again, they might have some trouble because Device and Kerrigan have a really good crossfire here. And sees already sees Kerrigan coming out. In fact, Kerrigan... Pushing the issue. He needs to be careful not to over push it though, because Device oh, isn't somewhere Kerrigan. directly beside him, but that's exactly how you do it. You get two kills immediately. Zeus and Seas go down, and that's your bomb as well. He only had two bullets left inside that clip, and six HP. Not a hell of a lot to work with, and that's why he's using this small, what is probably a three pixel wide gap inside the archers. Device and Cage and B, they can still hear Navi moving around when the flashes are on their way into. Here comes the push. Cage and B. There's your crossfire. Jump up for the AWP from Device. And Team Solo mid is tight as a tiger right now, the defense. Yeah, much, much better than what I... Going back to... Obviously, we weren't into the gun rounds, but go back to the pistol rounds, how they played that passively. I think they need to stick with this aggression even in those early rounds, and this might be a whole different scoreline because it was giving up the map control that cost them. They haven't done it since. And things are looking... A lot more favorable. Guardian's going to hold on to a Tech 9 because he couldn't really afford much else that was worth it. And if they win this round, he actually could go directly... If he gets a kill, he could go directly into an op next round. So if they win this, they might have a chance to at least get something going for them in round 14. Considering how these rounds have been going for Na'Vi, you may as well start off with a pistol, wait till one of your teammates dies, and then grab the AK. You've still got a Tech 9, so I'm not going to say you've are you got a weak gun. You can just keep fighting this one out. KGB again with this smoke block. They're running up. The fire is already down. That's Navi. Now they may secure top mid, but they are also blind. Pretty well blind. Carrigan's having another peek. He's moving down into the little cheap cubby. Well, Dupree's going to give him the cover fire he's desiring. And there's number one. There's number two. Kept him occupied while the rest of Navi have pushed over to the B site. Flamey and Zeus, the last ones left alive, but Device and Karakin, they've moved so quickly. There will be the smoke to give him cover, and Flamey playing that bomb so close to the cubby. And uh, look at Karakin, he's just steaming his way, and he's moving like he's on rails. Flamey might be able to get, yes, he will be able to get a revenge. But the odds are against him, especially when he's dead. And this will now be the 10th round for Solo mid. Zeus actually still had another smoke. They could have actually, they had CT connector smoked off. They could have actually smoked off on construction as well. They also had a Molotov. They could have dropped down on Banana if they really wanted to slow down that retake from TSM. But they would have had to play very strong angles. Likely one in Emo might have been able to hold off, maybe get another kill. But mm. Flamey made it reasonable. Zeus got a little bit too aggressive there. Even though it was a two on four, they had full sight control if they wanted it. We still have to remember that Flamey's only been part of Navi for a short period of time. So having these established positions for hold probably aren't set yet. They're running on reflex at the moment. Which has always been like a great way Navi have played. That's the, that's the Navi spirit in all, across all game titles. So again this time, TSM oh, didn't get aggressive Dupree. on Banana. This lets Guardian. Dupree. Go to Dupree right now because Zeus is going to get shot inside the back. Man. He's waiting. Yeah, she let him go. This is the second time. This is your pistol round all over again. The question is, actually, no, he's going to find a second in mid. 
Device knows one's headed it's up alt mid right now, so he's already lurking back. There's your first, and now he's just got to be careful. Oh, pull back, pull back, pull back. Dupree's already got the two frags. Navi has to check behind them. But Zeus, Zeus has, has got around behind Device. But he's got no bomb. Like, the bomb is still with seeds back all the way up through mid, and there's no one in a position yet. Yeah, sure, he's got past Device, but what's he going to really achieve here? If Device brings down Seized here in the mid, which it's about to, they're going to meet at the top mid. Bomb. Okay, missed the shot. That's big. Now Na'Vi have a Cajun Beast. Not going to be expecting that movement. In fact, Guardian also brings down Dupree. Cajun B unable yep. to actually battle against Zeus, and this is a disaster for TSM. It fell apart. Dupree almost should have taken that first shot onto Zeus because once he got behind Device, Device obviously listened very closely to what Dupree said and then read it entirely wrong because he mm. thought he was coming up alt mid. He thought he would spot him, but he actually got around him just as he got to Boiler. He was coming into the door to apartment. Once he got into A, it completely went the other way. We thought we were going to see a completely divided Na'Vi. No way. Zeus, that positioning, gave it completely back the other direction and we're seized was also coming up middle and still looking for Dupree. They knew where he was already, so once he went down, it was pretty much all over. That was uh, that was a bit of ridiculousness on both parts. Right now, Navi, they win one good round. They feel like they got a lot of aggression. They get a 1-1 one -one trade on the banana, but the push is coming in towards the A side. That's the primary objective. With the flash coming out, though, Dupree has already warned that someone was about to come down through the apartment stairs, and KGMB just moves from one side of the pole to the other. Swinging on it as he moves. And this is going to be a very quick end to the last round of the first half. And Team Solo Mid had the advantage. 11 rounds to 4 up against Na'Vi. It looked like Na'Vi were actually going to level up a 10-5 after that last round. Though. I'm going to say, though, I'm going to say completely that Na'Vi's wins have been on TSM's mistakes. Uh, which doesn't surprise me, CT side for TSM. But what it does tell me is that they're the team in control right now, and I would not at all be surprised to see them walk out with this game. They're still on 11. They've still got work to do. If they get this pistol, though, I don't see a comeback in the cards at all for Na'Vi. I said 5 was workable. 6 was ideal. I'd, 4 for me, with the way they're playing lately, I don't see it as a, as a high probability. Obviously, Guardian leads the way on 9. Flamey's well, there with him, but he's only got 3. This nade's going to be... Oh, it doesn't actually tag him. And Flamey's alone at B right now, so if they kill yep. him or exploit this, Edward's still slow on the rotation. That nade from Flamey was basically what saved uh, Na'Vi's B side just then. Cajun B was the first man rushing up from Team Solar Mid with the Tech Knight in hand and Flashbang. All he wanted to do was... Uh, well, sorry, he had Flashbang behind him. Uh, and all he wanted to do was do something very similar to what Device has now done up against Edward. And sorry, it was Device that so was there at the front lines. So they run the Tech Knight in, they get the opening frags, they take over the site, get a very quick plant down, and then just batten down the hatches. Hold the line. Device already got one. Seize is the last man to rotate in, but it's a one-on-four situation, and all he's got in his hand is this small, piddly little pistol. We've seen crazy things already tonight, speaking about a knife round, so I'm just going to sit back and let <laughs> it happen. He's trying to find that first he's... one. That's Device to peek out, but he can't just get it yet. We'll have another Ooh. opportunity, but he doesn't have any more time. Yeah. Even if he was capable about, of bringing all four players down, which he isn't because Kerrigan will shut him down now, uh, Navi already had that bomb ticking down way too long. And, uh, yeah, really, really great really great strap by Team Solo Mid. They didn't bail out of it the second that Nay came in. It wasn't just this, oh, my, th this is all gone wrong. You can't Let's bail. double back you and let's wait. They it, well, went and committed. If, yeah, if you're going to commit to something like that, that close and that type grouped up, you've got to go. And that's what you see a lot of lower-tier teams. They don't do. They hesitate on that opening that they, they think they have, and suddenly they've given away too much. You run up that close. You don't go through. The other team knows exactly where you are, regardless of whether or not you take it. Yeah. It looks like Guardian's looking for the uh, for the Deagle picks down mid. Unfortunately for him, he's taken a crap ton of damage. And Navi just on the defense now, the top of Banana. It's Device and Cajun B making a lot of the, a lot of the noise. Cajun B's desperate for a kill. The rest of his team is light years ahead, and the rest of his team is also ready to push up mid. Guardian, watching closely, watching that bullet so closely it connected with his eyeball. And this has opened up a slot on A. Flamey's already rotating back, but Device right on top of Seized. Flamey has to come back to the B site. They still haven't grabbed the bomb yet. Now they will into the hands of Kerrigan, and Device pushing up. Flamey's going to be on the right, and he gets the upper hand on him with that CZ. Cajun doesn't see him around the corner, but shoots him through the, end of the, through the start of the smoke. And with two players left alive here for Na'Vi, let's make that one Zeus. It looks like this uh, next round is going to go the way of Team Solo mid, putting them 
three rounds away from victory on map number one. Yeah, great start. Now keep in mind, this is their map. Inferno was their choice. They beat Nip on it recently, 16-8. They're quite comfortable here. Dust 2, not as comfortable. At the same time, like, is Navi really going to be as comfortable? Wasn't that the map they got 16-3'd on? Actually, no, that was the other way around. No, they, that, that they was beat Vox. Vox they beat Vox, Vox all the other on, way around. On Inferno, yeah, 16-3 at ESL. I, I mean, uh, Navi, to me, has to get off to a good start in the next one. The momentum's firmly gone away from them right now mentally. I don't even think they're in this game quite so much. They've got to get a great start on Dust 2. We're not done here yet. I've seen stranger things happen. We saw it happen with a flip side game in the qualifier, so I'm not going to count the, all the chickens right now, but I'll start plucking feathers off the babies. I was close. It was 16-4 up against Envious that Navi lost on Dust 2. Okay, yeah, at, so there you go. SL1. Yeah. Yeah, and against Envy. Uh, sorry, would, sorry. I they take actually it back. beat they, Envy. They, they, yeah, they, they beat, beat Envy 16-4. Which was, and I was going to say, because it was very <laughs> surprising they did so, because Envy's a very, very efficient Dust 2 team. But we're going to see a fast, oh, fast look at the banana defense. push. Look at this stack. He's only spotted corner. one. He knows they're there. If he gets all three with a Mac 10, oh, no, can't finish I will be blown away. Bullets. He's trying to do more. Bullets. His teammate <laughs> fails him on the last one. That was Cajun taking bomb site B. But Device oh. gets the fourth. Nice play by him. And you're not expecting... One to kill off two people at top banana, or two to expect a second person sitting on top of sandbags, like not even on top, inside of sandbags. There was no smoke, there was no cover, so the vice is sprayed out. He then saw the last, but the course Edward was completely blind as a bat and couldn't shoot, and that's what allowed the vice to just get that reload time in. And not to mention the support, as you said, from Cage and B, taking out that supporting Navi player at the top. So now 14 for Navi, they do have a buy. But it feels a little forced. They're not maxed on nades and everything else, and they've also got a Famous to boot on Guardian. At least Dupree's managed to find... Okay, that's a really aggressive position. Great team flash in, but Edward got caught by that because it didn't go through the door, so it actually backfires. Dupree gets the kill. That should have been easy for Edward. He's going to be furious with his teammate on that one. As Zeus is going to drop as Dupree comes through, and look at Kerrigan all the way around. Front library down. Luckily, Guardian still found a way to stay alive on the site, but Device puts him to bed. And it's all up to Flame. He gets there at the right time. Bomb dropped. It actually drops awkwardly on top of one of the boxes, but they'll get that. Actually, they won't even care. Cajun's going to yeah. get the kill. They, they, they just hunt for the frags, because right now Team Solo mid. They know they had the manpower. All they need is one more round. They've got enough money to fund the, this terrorist organization for at least another two buys. And Navi is sitting in a rough position. It's a complete force buy. There's only 100 left on both Edward as well as C's. Everyone's is flat broke. So we have armor on, uh, and head armor on everyone apart from Edward. Four Famuses and that one little 5-7 for Zeus. That's all that's available is... Oops. I have the same issue. Mm, we do. We do. Slight little choke here. There we go. Oh, Back oh. into it. Yep. Okay. We're fine. I believe. Where are you moving, Navi? They got a lot of commitment up on top mid. Trying to hold the apartments. We're gonna trade for one for one. That was that AWP of device going down. <laughs> and praise given by both sides. It's not in a grabbable position either, so Zeus still won't be able to get a gun from this. Mm -hmm. In fact, KGMB is the man to pick up the AWP. He's wanting to check spools as he moves up. That With smoke came out late, though. The first one came out over towards CT by Cajun B, and then they immediately countered it. Meanwhile, though, Dupree gets Guardian. Uh, Zeus is in a horrible position. He doesn't know what side he's meant to be on, the B or the A. Right now, we can't even tell him because there's three players moving up through the mid, but the bomb is down at the bottom of Banana. So they can mid up through mid, make a little bit of sound, try and find the opening. That's your giveaway. Yep, brings him down, which means they have to move back over to the B site. You can hear them from where they are. And the smoke's there to cover, and Flamey... Can the, can the new boy of Na'Vi clutch hard? He takes out one. He's still only got this Famous, and he'll only take out the one. As Sipnik spamming through that smoke. He's trying to go for this plant, but he's got to be careful because Zeus is pushing that smoke. It's Edward comes around, though. It's Zipnik's down, and Cajun B's only got this AWP. Up close and personal. No, Zeus is down. But Shoulder it's all it. left to the one-on-one. -on -one. He tries to fake this bomb plant, tries to bait it. him out, and he's going to get it. Cajun B for the win at bomb site B. Aptly named and what a game by TSM, 16-4. Again, it came down to mistakes by them. Not even anything brilliant from Na'Vi all, perform all night mm -hmm. long in that first map. Uh, with, with no smokes, no flashes left for that last round too. Like he had no other option but to base.